Rock for Dick here today. I'm joined by John Lincoln and Eric from Buck B Weed Company. How's it going, gentlemen? Pretty Excellent. Good. It's a good yeah. day. Yeah, it's a great day. So, Eric, I'm going to start with you because uh, there is a storied history, apparently, with Rockford and hemp that I did not know about, and it ties in perfectly with the store. So, give me the breakdown. Let's... So many people live here their whole lives and have no idea the true story of Rockford Sunny. Now, back in 1834, <laughs> we had the first three settlers that came out here, and their plan was that they were going to set up a, a stop in between Chicago and Galena for the traffic going by. They called it Midway. Those three settlers, they were Germanicus Kent, Thatcher Blake, and Lewis Lemon. So what they did was, at the time, this was still all part of Joe Davies County, so they went over to Galena. They got their permit to operate the ferry across the Rock River. Okay. But they uh, tried to get enough rope to stretch across the river to make it easy to bring the ferry back and forth. That's the edge of the frontier back in 1834. Couldn't get enough rope. <laughs> there was no rope. <laughs> there was no rope. Headed back to Chicago. Once again, there was no rope to be had. <laughs> but you so know what? what was the solution? The founding fathers, undeterred, they came back to the to the Rock River, just south of downtown. Actually, pretty much just across the street from where we're at today, they planted a field of hemp. They made their own rope. <laughs> and that's how the city of Rockford began. So that's why we're so excited to be bringing hemp production right back here because most people don't know it, but this is a hemp town. Always has been and, and always, will be. always will be. <laughs> so, uh, so that's a great segue to kind of break into uh, the seed program, uh, and uh, we'll get into kind of like the tie-in to the storefront that we're in right now. So, tell me a little bit about the hemp seed program and what you guys got going on. Yeah, so uh, Sustainable Innovations and Buckby Weed Co Company have uh, joined forces to really help bring. Uh, social justice to uh, social equity folks uh, for minorities, uh, particularly in dis disproportionately impacted areas from the failed war on drugs, such as this one. Yeah, so we're right on South Main yeah, Street, right? Exactly. So, so we need areas that need to be revitalized where, you know, the state so far has, you know, somewhat failed in, you know, providing, this, uh, you know, some kind of relief, equitable relief and social justice for minorities and DIA zone. So we decided to step in. We've created a seed incubation program. And, uh, you know, Lincoln here is is our first, uh, our, our first storefront here. So we're super excited to have this uh, launch on 420, uh, which was at this point yesterday. Yeah, at the time of recording so, was yesterday. But, but it seems like it's 420 week and 420 months. So hey, <laughs> we're just going to roll 420 it. every day. <laughs> but in any case, we're super excited. Uh, you know, the, the incubator program really helps uh, business uh, proprietors like Lincoln uh, to be able to uh, start, own, and operate their own successful, you know, hemp and, uh, you know, weed business. And, uh, you know, and we provide the resources and expertise to really make that happen. That's and awesome. We're here to support Lincoln, man. It's a good day. Yeah. So that leads me to you, Lincoln. So tell me a little bit about like your, your personal story and what led you to start Buckbeed Weed Company. So as a lot of people do at one time, I really thought about getting in the black market selling marijuana. Wow. Um, prior to the pandemic, <laughs> I was in the restaurant industry. Okay. So that industry went away. Yep. And I really did not know what I was going to do. I spoke with a friend of mine. He says, I know a guy. He's into this hemp, growing hemp. And um, he call then he calls me and says, okay, he'll be here in an hour. You got to come meet him. So I came to meet him with the intention of buying product to start a store. And then once I met him, I said, I cannot let this opportunity get by me. I think we should talk about being partners instead of me struggling, buying two or three hundred dollars worth of product, trying to sell it. Yeah. And so that leads us to this wonderful storefront that we are in right now. Um, and so tell me, like, what is it that you what is it that you do and sell here at Buckby? So we sell Delta 8 THC. We also sell CBD. We have vapes. We have gummy bears. We have suckers, which are really popular. We also have CBD flour. We have Delta 8 flour. Numerous things. <laughs> a whole, a whole smorgasbord here of things. 
cookies, yeah, the whole nine yards. And so um, I required a little education on this, and so I'm sure other people will as well. Can you tell me a little bit about what Delta 8 is? All right. Or, or, <laughs> somebody, okay. yeah, I'll, I'll tell you about it. So the difference between Delta 8 and Delta 9 is comes around because uh, basically the way the law was written. And the, the uh, when they federally legalized hemp, they were real specific about only focusing on Delta 9 THC. Well, it turns out that leaves it wide open to have Delta 8 THC, which is a hemp derived version of THC, uh, be right here and be open for anyone to use without having to go through all the, uh, the hoops that you have with regular marijuana. Now effects wise, it's a really cool product because it, you can't say it's not psychoactive, but it's less psychoactive than the Delta 9 THC. So what, what that ends up happening is you get less of the head effects. You get less paranoia, confusion, sure, I, I, uh, anxiety, anxiety yeah. things like that. You get a whole lot more of the body effects. So you get a pretty nice body buzz from it. Uh, but at the same time, you still feel clear-minded enough that you never walk into the hardware store and forget why you came. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's never happened to anybody. <laughs> no, never. never. So, so, sometimes you want to walk to the hardware store for an hour. I don't know. But yeah. sometimes you want to actually get some stuff done and uh, and still feel nice. And this is a great product for that. And so this uh, obviously has its recreational uses, but it has some like medical uses as well, right? So oh. it, like there's a little list over here. Boop. Spoiler alert. But what are some of the things that it's good for? Uh, it's great for anti-inflammation, pain, anxiety. Uh, it's great for anti-nausea. Uh, in fact, a lot of the medicinal studies that have come out for THC were done on Delta-8 THC. So almost all of the uh, medicinal things you've heard about with CBD, they actually get amplified with the Delta-8 THC and you get a much stronger, uh, they call it the entourage effect. Very and cool. I, I can tell you, uh, CBD with Delta-8 is fantastic for any sort of pain relief, any sort of muscle relaxation, anti-inflammation, the stuff works. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, gentlemen, for taking the time to get together and chat. And really quick, uh, last thing, Lincoln, is uh, where can people go and to come pay you a visit or find you online? So we're at 1018 South Main and also online, buckbeweedcompany.com. No, just buckbeweed.com. Buckbeeweed.com, and I'm glad you guys are on Facebook and social media and all that fun jazz as well, right? So, Absolutely. fantastic. Well, thank you so much, uh, gentlemen, for getting together to take, and taking the time to get together and chat. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. Uh, I just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support we're able to highlight local businesses uh, like Buckbee Weed Company and talk to wonderful people like these gentlemen right here and bring you all this Rockford positive content for free through the power of the internet. So, thank you so much to them, and we will catch you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford.